Hello guys, welcome to the AMA session. Uh, today we have Vivek Yadav uh, with us. Hello Vivek, how are you? Hello, hi everyone watching us. It's great <laughs> to be here with Newton back again. Nice. Vivek, are you nervous? Uh, how are you feeling? Your first live session, I assume. Actually, I'm pretty excited though it's my first YouTube live, but I'm really excited to meet uh, my friends and students in Newton and also all of the people watching this space. That's really sweet. That's really sweet. So going forward, we'll talk about uh, your journey with Newton School. Uh, what, the, what are the things that you have learned? Uh, what are the things, what are the applications, you know, or things that you still use in your day-to-day -day life uh, that you have learned from Newton School. Also, uh, I assume that you have made a switch in your career from mechanical to uh, coding in the tech yeah. tech industry, right? So we'll also talk about uh, how, like, why did you switch and how are you right now in going in your life with the, with tech? How are you feeling? So we'll start. So firstly, how did you know about Newton School? Like. Is there anyone who told you about Newton School or did you research and buy it? Yeah, so there was this time of pandemic wherein, you know, uh, there were a lot of ads going on about uh, these online boot camps and stuff. So I came to know about Newton School uh, through these ads on Instagram and Facebook that they put. And there were a lot of other boot camps as well. And when I checked the reviews and all, and when I say, saw the alumni, I felt like Newton was the right one to pick and then i immediately applied for a newton school and eventually got selected i mean in the newton what? so talking about uh, your switch so why did you switch from mechanical to coding was there any reason a uh, specific reason if you can yeah so um, initially i was very enthusiastic about my um, my own field mechanical as well in then even during my college i did internship in mechanical field and but yeah when it came to job market and when i saw my seniors i mean job market in speci specifically in india yeah and when i saw my seniors and uh, yeah then i saw that you know people going from mechanical to it were doing really good in their careers it's not that people in mechanical fields are not doing good but yeah i mean most of the people who went in it field excelled quite faster than the one who went into the code field yeah and mm -hmm. along with that um, i had like studied computers from like back in school as well but then i left like uh, during my engineering and there was just one subject but yeah i knew of coding a little bit a very little but yeah, I did. And I thought I could explore that interest of mine. Yeah. And uh, from there itself, you know, it started and started learning C, Java, and, you know, I got into a IT field through campus itself. Got it. So while we are talking about this topic, you switching from mechanical to, you know, the tech uh, industry, we have a comment on YouTube, like on the live chat, that how difficult was it? Uh, to move from, uh, you know, from mechanical to the tech, like coding, basically. And how, like, how did you feel Newton School helped you in that journey, in that switch, basically? Yeah, so uh, I don't think it's that difficult to switch from mechanical to coding. It's just the mindset that you need to apply. And you, I mean, mechanical deals with a lot of mathematics and equations you know you don't have to deal with all of that there is a simple pattern that you need to follow and once you understand the pattern and you understand the you know logic behind problem solving coding comes really handy and easy yeah and newton yeah. how it helped me in that sense is like you know it brought a routine to my life and it brought a kind of you know like um, i was uh, i had to be answerable to people in newton that why i did not complete this part of the course or why am I lagging on a lot of assignments and stuff. Yeah. Plus the teachers and also the mentors, especially I mean, one to one mentors that we get. So that is a big plus that you get along with Newton school. And once once you are answerable to someone, right, your daily speed of learning things get better mm -hmm. because you have to be accountable. You will be getting a phone call very next day. Like, why yes. didn't you complete so and so stuff, right? 
so yeah. that makes things really faster and also you learn very quickly and when you are learning with a very good group of people who are already filtered and who are already you know like uh, you are you're really you know with a bunch of very good brains i, I must say so uh, you telling me that you not only had a journey you know from switching from neck from neck to tech is i can say yeah. but uh, you also made good friends and you know you had a like jolly journey with you in school so you also spoke something about the mentors a lot of people who want to switch or you know want to go ahead and upskill themselves who might think of you know joining newton or any any such thing you might also want to know the experience how a a student is going so talking about mentors how was the mentor sessions for you did you make any bond with the mentor like there are some students who have you know got really sometimes they get close with the mentor share a lot of things uh, and sessions used to be in the night so how was the doubt, doubt solving things like that yeah so, so mentor session used to be really good because i mean you have one to one sessions with them and you can ask a lot of things i mean some people might hesitate to ask a few things in class and they might think it would be silly to ask you know but those correct, th- i mean correct. Uh, though i don't personally think that anything is silly to be asked yeah i mean like yeah. you you can ask anything and everything in the class itself but yeah but if you still think you are missing out on something you can ask with the mentor personally and also mentors in newton are from really reputed companies they are already uh, working as a senior developers and they have quite a good experience in the tech field yeah so you yeah. can learn about their journey their experience and you know what what boxes did they tick to go there right so you can just i mean take an inspiration from their journey along with problem solving of course along with your doubts and other stuff yeah mm-hmm. and mentors also motivate you a lot in the sense that you know like uh, how much you should be progressing to reach what stage you want to go in the course and where do you stand they give you feedback on where you stand right now i mean whether you are really fit for an interview or not or what are the areas you you should be working upon yeah so in that way it was really helpful with the mentor and also you know along the course uh, you develop kind of a very good relation with mentor that even if you when you ping outside of his office hours or you know he will help you with any of the technical stuff that you are facing problem got it. cool so as you told that there are a lot of times when uh, someone uh, wants to ask a doubt but uh, they can't because they think that's a silly doubt or things yeah. like that so was there any you know a funny incident that happened with you that you can you know remember of with the mentor something weird or something funny if you can remember you can share it with us not particularly funny but yeah i mean like we used to have like puzzle session with uh, mentors you know these interviews these days have like uh, puzzles puzzle questions so yeah so the interviewer used to throw in some puzzles about mouse uh, rat and other stuff like and many other things so sometimes we used to come up with a very i mean uh, uh, some of our friends used to come up with very funny and very, very different an- answers so it used to be funny but yeah i mean that is all i remember basically a fun session kind of a thing with the mentor yeah. to get them out the mode yeah cool got it uh and how what about mock interviews how did mock interviews help you and uh, and how did it help you to make you more confident during the real interview that you did yeah so mock interview are are like i mean i think it's very well designed the set of questions that are asked in mock interviews i mean so we have mock interviews for every micro topics like you complete a certain st- complete to a certain part you will have a mic- mock interview for just that micro part right so mm-hmm. clear that mock mock you really have to be good at you know what the mock is about suppose you are giving a mock interview on javascript basics let's say basic level mm-hmm. so you need to understand what js is really all about till basic and you know so the interviewer might throw a multiple type of question that is actually being asked in the interview you will never you will not know at that point that you know these are the questions that will later on be asked in the interviews but when you uh, appear real interviews the questions being asked on mock interview 
and the real ones are same but i don't in any way mean to convey that you know you should read a set of questions i would rather say that you should read the set of concepts once you read the set of concepts it questions are nothing got it you give like you would remember the number yes yeah, sorry could you please come again yeah how many mock interviews did you give with newton school uh i don't remember probably more than 30 or 40 i guess i mean <laughs> for <laughs> each um, to topic we have like uh, at least one interview or two interviews like that hello yeah yeah okay sorry i had i think there's a connection issue going on which i'm looking into but yeah i think it's fine now uh, so how was the feeling uh, when you got your uh, job with newman school when you got placed yeah i mean uh, it was great i mean the day i got the offer i was traveling actually yeah and uh, while i was traveling i i was traveling alone and i got the offer later on my phone yeah and i had nobody to share that happiness with but i mean i was really happy and delighted and i was uh, going to meet my family the very next day and i shared um, this news with my family and they were really happy yeah and um, i mean yeah it it brought a lot of joy in me because uh, it, it it was a really good thing that happened to me after pandemic yeah so that's really nice so you celebrated it with your family right yeah that's that's really nice uh we also have some good set of questions on uh, youtube i think one of the questions was uh, again uh, how did you celebrate after getting the job finally also uh, how there is one question that if you ever got you know uh, not exactly i want to use the word demotivated but you know agar kabhi bhatak gaye uh you know you're not focused so how how did you manage that in your journey yeah that actually happened with me very good question that is here so after this uh, dsa part mm. was completed and i had yeah. I, as i was also working with a company service based company so in the meantime you know my uh, lead resigned during that period and i was you know taking care of a lot of stuff i mean uh, mm. that i i mean i had to give, give time after office hours to you know to pop up with that mm. so uh, i was a little i mean when the front end part started initially i was not uh, regular with the assignments and not re- really regular with the even the classes to say yeah so but later on yeah when i had mentor session he again you know said uh, collect yourself back refocus and you know it's just matter of few weeks and you will be in a very good place yeah so uh, i would suggest everyone you know whoever is looking forward to join newton school so as long as you are with newton school take things very seriously if you take things seriously very good things are going to happen with you correct correct uh, i think i have heard this with most of the people uh, who might be came with that once you uh, you know if you work hard if you work hard if you show interest then no one can stop you from getting placed in a good company with a good package is what uh, i have heard from a lot of students and again from you uh, which gives out a very important message that uh, if you have if you have the will that you know nothing can stop you is yeah whatever. and yeah. i would add to that you know if you are feeling de- demotivated or anything just keep calm and trust newton and just follow what they're saying yeah <laughs> you will end up in a good place that is some that is some good thing i yeah. think so cool uh so would you like to say something to our viewers uh, i think we have got good engagement compared to other uh, videos in this one and uh, so do you want to say something to the viewers uh, about the switch that you had about the journey in tech so that you know if they are planning to take a step forward in tech then they can uh, you know after listening to you it would be easier for them yeah so to everyone i would say if you are looking for a like a complete switch to a tech career from a different field don't think that tech is hard yeah mm-hmm. it's just a matter of time everything is hard when you see it for the first time yeah right. it's just a matter of time you realize the pattern there is pattern in everything 
whatever mm-hmm. you read there is a pattern in that once you understand and realize what the pattern is all about you will definitely excel in it yeah mm-hmm. so so if you are looking forward to a career in uh, coding uh, definitely newton's school is the right place to be as you mm-hmm. have a lot of things that they help you with i personally think the phone calls that you get every day that is very important don't don't ignore that call yeah you have to go through that humiliation for 5 minutes if you go through that humiliation for 5 minutes i'm sure you will complete the assignment very next day and this is the message to the newton school students who are uh, studying right now and uh, to the guys who are looking forward to joining newton school i am i am i am i assure you it's a very good place to be but provided that you should be serious about your studies because i mean tech career is no joke right i mean you at the end of the day you have to study you have to learn and you have to deliver yeah because right. um, either a code works or it doesn't there is nothing like 50% correctness in a code yeah so you have to pass all the test cases that like we say so that is how it works so either you are 100% or you are nothing thank you thank you so much vivek that some really good talk uh, i had with you and i hope that it will be really helpful for the viewers as well uh the point of view that you have your journey can be inspiring for other people who are willing to switch or who are willing to take another step in their tech career so thank you so much vivek yeah thank you so much thank you and special thanks to all the team in newton school thank you very much yeah thank you so much yes thank you so much that's really good